Hey guys, welcome to another Top Drives video, and today it's the complete Elite Finals 1. Okay guys, so this is the Elite Finals 1. To access this, you need to have beaten three of the Elite Challenges to get your token. Um, and at the end of this, you can grab your next token to get either the Mitsubishi or the Audi, depending on which one you chose in the previous challenge if you beat it, or if you already own one um, of the cars, you can pick the other. Or if you own both of them, then you can earn... Um, a carbon fiber with a legendary in it. Um, so, I'm not going to lie, guys. This is a very hard challenge. Um, and a couple of things I just want to kind of apologize for before we even go into the main bulk of the video. Um, round 9 and round 11 have disappeared for some reason. Um, I just don't have them at all so what i've done is i managed to find a copy of each of the rounds and i've just put a screenshot in there of what other people used um for that round it's not how i like to operate um but just to kind of make the video complete i've just added them in so i do apologize that they are not the actual videos and they are just screenshots um Second of all, um, this video has got a lot of maxed epics in. So when you get to the final stages of this, you are required to have um, epics and legendaries, five of them, with a minimum of two fuses in four of them. Um, and I don't kind of half-bake legendaries, uh, sorry, epics. I don't kind of half-bake them, so I don't half-build them and then leave them or anything like that. So what I've brought into the video is maxed. Pretty much everything I've used is maxed. And I would recommend to max whatever you can um, or almost max whatever you can because they really, really will benefit you um, come trying to fight for this next prize car uh yeah because I, I just don't think that coming up with some sort of like half half built epics are really going to work uh, you're coming up against a lot of maxed epics and um, um even some maxed legendaries uh it's not an easy challenge guys at all um, there's not much else I can really say about the the level of difficulty in it because it, it just it it starts off fairly easy you know ultras supers you can get get through with that but um, no later on you are really really going to need them and and the other thing is as well I've only used the same sort of cars so I've got three Aston Martins that are maxed I've got. Um, a one VW Golf that's maxed. I've got a Caterham. I've got um, what I've what I've got maxed is what I've got. I've got nothing else over than that to use. So there's not much variety either. I am using the same cars over and over again. But I'm hoping that if you guys have decided to max some of the Porsches that came down from Legendary or. Um, some of the Lotuses that they will do the job just as well. Uh, I know the Lotuses are slightly um, twistier than the Aston Martins anyway. So in the twisty fast circuits they should um, hold up their own anyway. But like here you can see I'm already using a maxed Epic uh, and that's to combat uh, a legendary there. No, okay, their legendary isn't um, got, you know, it isn't maxed, but I'm missing, um, I'm missing specific ultras. Uh, the they just not dropped since uh, the old guard challenges started, or they've not dropped before then either. 
So mi missing a lot of the ultra rare old guards as well. So if there is an ultra rare old guard that would win that race, um, it's not one I've got. So that's kind of where I'm at with it. I'm just trying to use what I can to get through these challenges now. But these are some of the hardest challenges um, I have played for a long time. Um, I have seen a lot of people drop out of them already. I've seen a lot of complaints already. Um, it's tough, guys. It is tough. Um, and without me maxing what I'd maxed prior to this challenge, I don't think I'd do it myself, if I'm completely honest. Just missing too many of the... Um, the ultra rares. I think if there was more ultra rare stipulation, I might have struggled. Um, it just, just thankfully, it allows you to use epics, and there's enough RQ for you to absolutely battle the hell out of it. I mean, if it comes down to the fact that I need a legendary in the final elite challenge, um, I haven't touched the final elite challenge yet. That is going to be done after this. Um, then I've only got one that's actually got any fuses in, and that is the Fiore. Other than that, um, the rest of them are pretty much stock, <laughs> completely stock. So, um, you know, any of the Evos or anything like that, they would just not be used. Um, and if I can't beat the challenge, I can't beat the challenge. But we'll just have to see, because I'm not sure how hard that one is. Um, but I wouldn't mind finding that other legendary and a couple of epics in a pack. That would be nice. Um, but not holding my hopes out for that one. Unless I can I can really get through with what I've got. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but that video might not be up for a couple of hours yet. It depends on whether or not I can beat the challenge or not. Whether I've got to wait for some fuses. Because although I said I don't really half-bake epics. I am cooking a few um, at one one three at the minute some of the older rally cars the rq well what used to be rq 63 and, and stuff like that the the uh escort and the porsche i'm putting a couple of fuses in them um using up what little food i've got unfortunately uh, now it is thursday um which means it's tri-series time again Guys, I I have moaned in a few of the last videos, and I'm going to just do the same in this one because I think it's pathetic. Um, the server errors, certainly for Europe, have been so bad. So, so bad. Um, you know, people lost out on the Fenrest Supersport this time. They've missed out on the Gamera. They've missed out on other prize cars because of the consistent server errors now hutch issued kind of an apology they give us our compensation um challenge which was all well and good bearing in mind it was only europe that was affected by the server errors everyone got one so nice of them um i think it needed to be more than a ceramic and i think after yesterday's server outage again in the european servers we were out for hours. I just don't think a ceramic's going to cut the mustard anymore. I think um, we need a, comp a carbon fibrous compensation. There's a little bit of something. I think because we are just consistently down at the moment. And it's, it's so annoying. Uh, so. Hutch's solution to the fact that people lost out on the Femro Supersport initially was to issue an owner's challenge so non-owners could actually go and win the prize car um which was very very quickly redacted um taken away uh, as the community wasn't very happy about it from what i believe um so then the next solution that they have come up with and i think this is still wrong uh is the next Tri-Series final, if you finish in the top 12, because they've, they've increased it to 12 now that can win the prize car, um, you can either choose to take the prize car that's on offer or exchange it for the Fenrir Supersport. 
So, if the next prize car is an absolutely fantastic one and you are able to win it, are you going to go, mm, well, I could have won that one as well. I want to take that instead. Or are you going to go, actually, no, I'm going to take this fantastic prize car. Or, on the other hand, did you have a fantastic hand because it was Peugeot and Nissan 2000 to 2009 Um for the Fenway Supersport um, and you had a fantastic hand and you were going to win the prize car but because of the service kicked you out or because you couldn't play or whatever um, you lost it I'm trying to think where I am with this now <laughs> but basic, basically if you had a really good hand and you were going to win it last time there's not to say you're going to have a really good hand the next time around because you might not be able to get into the top 10, 12 um, to win the next prize car to, to make that decision anyway. You know, I, I just think it's crazy. There's a couple of solutions for me. Um, either knock the Tri-Series on the head and make it a GT Series for a little while again. Uh, because of the server errors. You don't have server errors on the challenges very often. Um, or why not just give people more opportunity to win the prize? Uh, seems seems they, they put these pre prize cars on the pedestals. Um, but the way I see it is if you give more people the opportunity to have a good go at it. You know, how many times have you come 11th and gone, I missed out by two points. I missed out by 20 points. You know, if it was top 15, more people would have the opportunity, more people would invest, more people would put the effort in, build the cars, use the resources, and do exactly what you want them to do, Hutch. Um, but you, you kind of make it this, this elusive thing that, only the best of the best can get when you know what people can't continue to make their garages stronger when they miss out on the prize car like by two points or by a server error so you know increase the prizes the pixels on the screen that's all they are they're not it's not real life it's not um it's, it's just pixels on the screen just give more people more prize cars uh, that's that's where I feel that we should be. You know, top 10 out of 500 is 2%. And then when you start looking at the overfilled brackets, that 2% very, very quickly diminishes. And I've said it before, I've seen brackets with two, uh, 508. I've seen brackets with 558. I've seen brackets with 600. Um that 2% drops even less. So find a solution for this, please. Come on. You game developers. Let's, let's develop something. Either that, or I'll tell you what, shut the servers. Shut the servers for four, six hours before the finals finish. That way, no more people can enter the servers. And if you've not entered, then it's tough. You know, put a time limit on it, announce it, say, right, as of 1,800 hours, as of 1,600 hours on the Sunday, the blah, 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 before the Tri-Series final finishes, all servers will be shut to new entrants. If you've not entered, you will not be entering. And and, and then it will kick people up the bum. You know, it will give them... Give them a kick up the arse to actually enter the finals. Because what's happening is that many people are trying to enter last minute that they're just crashing it. Do something. Fix it. Well, <laughs> can you tell I'm quite passionate about this? You know, it's, it's, it's annoying, uh, to say the least. And I just wish they'd do something because they know they can do something, but... I don't know. They just don't seem to want to. Right. Anyway. 
And while you're here, guys, if you do like my videos, please do drop a like and smash that subscribe button. Uh, let me know how you're getting on with these challenges. It is rather tough. Like I said, um, as you can see from the cars I'm using, I, of course, went for the Evo in this one. Um, as it was the last one for me to grab. Um, I've not worked on the final, final challenge yet. That is my um, my next venture. Whether or not I can beat it, I don't know. You'll soon find out in the next couple of hours if the video appears on YouTube or doesn't. So this is the final round. And guys, I've got to apologise. Um, I've literally just found out while I was recording this that um, for some reason the video didn't work again so that's actually three videos that have gone missing in this whole challenge um and i really really don't know why so i've had to use this screenshot and um, i really apologize for that um i don't even know what to say uh, i'm a little bit disappointed that it's happened uh, but hopefully th this screenshot alone might just help you get through um, there's not a lot I can say. I'm really, really sorry what's happened there. Um, let me know how you've got on with this challenge, please, guys. Have a great day, and I will catch you next time for another Top Drives video. Take care. Bye-bye.